Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a report and app sheet. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And if you want to create an account on app sheet, you can use our link in the description down below where you can get discounts or rewards upon signing up. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first right here, go to the appsheet.com or go to your Google, go to your Google Apps and right there just browse for app sheets so since this uh, uh website is a uh, a part of google and yes right here after you go to the website you can just log in your google account and you're good to go you're already in the dashboard where you can see your uh uh recently created uh application so this is my application that i created uh in the pre previously so if if, if, I, if i want to create a new application i can just click create uh right here on the top left and hover on this application and choose uh choose within this uh three options so it's better if you can start with a template rather than importing a, a an application or you can start with a blank app but i'm just going to start with a template so after clicking this one i can just choose uh any of these uh applications that i can copy in my uh, app sheet so i think this one is good so i'm just going to copy this website right here i will be redirected to this application so as you can see it starts syncing so let's just wait until it's it is 100 percent so this is how it would look like as you can see there will be a preview uh on this uh right side of the website and just click this one just turn this on if you want to edit this you can just you know edit this section by section it's up to you but yeah, so as you can see, it's it's done syncing. So yeah, I can just uh you know customize this uh application if I want. It's up to me. Since we're on the app sheet, you can just you know customize your apps. But we're not going to discuss this furthermore. What we're going to do since we're going to create an uh, a report, we need to use uh, a function called automation. So we're going to use bot to create our reports for us. So you need to create your uh, first automation. So when you add a new bot, you need to have, uh, you need to suggest or, or write, uh, you know, uh, an automating uh, process for your bot. So there will be a recommended uh, automation process that you can choose right here. But for now, I'm just going to uh, use a uh, scheduled report. So let's just use scheduled, scheduled report. Right here. Create a new bot. So this is how this is the uh, the event itself. So I'm just going. I'm, I I will create a a schedule. So if I want to configure the uh, uh, the uh, the event, so let's just uh, make this a scheduled every day. And also I can uh, edit this. I can edit the schedule. I can you know trigger this schedule daily, weekly, monthly, or monthly by week, and it's up to me. And also I can just you know insert the minute of the hour. Also, for uh, you can trigger for each row in the given table. You can do so. You can also add a condition. So it's up to you. So now we need to add a step. So let's just add a step. So as you can see, after adding a step, you can choose uh, any of these uh, you know suggestions. You can send a notification, send an SMS, or send an email. So since it is a report, it's better to use an email since. Yeah, you know, as you can see in this general, uh, generally we use email to send reports. You can just, you know, send reports to your co colleague or your co-workers using an email. So yeah, we, we need to send an email. So right here, just uh, click custom task and click right here, send an email. So yeah, right here you can uh, use an email type. You can go uh, for, for custom template or embedded uh, app. So it's up to you. So for me just going to use custom template because it's good it's better so now right here on the two uh, section so this is where you can add the emails that uh, you will you want to send the uh, report to so you can just add your account your own account so this is my own account and also I can add many accounts that I want to send an email so it's up to you whether you're a workers uh, email your colleague emails you can add it right here in order to send them a report so after after uh, adding the emails 
right here you will now to create a subject for your uh, email so email subject so for example let's just type uh, a report um, equipment report for example equipment report right here just click save and right here on the email body I can also you know uh, I can also you know insert the email body right here I, for example the report your text uh, it's up to you just write your report whole report right here and click save and yes that's it so after you're done you can also uh, you know use a template if you want to you know if you want to uh, not use this one you can use a template you can just use this one add a, add the source for your templates and you know it's up to you so after you're done you can just preview the email if you want so this is how it would look like so yeah error something has gone wrong since there's no uh, email body for on my uh, you know <laughs> on my email so yeah it's uh, it's it says error so you need to have an email body and it's up to you so after you're done uh, creating this one email subject and email body you can also uh, use uh, other settings like attachment settings you can add a cc other email parameters bcc you can also add a reply customize prompt name free header for attachment settings you can attach uh, for example uh, some files you can attach some files and the name you can attach pdf yeah any other content C csv html json it's up to you you can attach them right here on your email and after you're done with this just click save so after that just click run in order to run the bot so in order to the scheduled every day is only trigger when the app is in the uh, deployed state so yeah you need to deploy your app first so let's deploy the app itself and you're done your new bot is already running and if you want to test it just click more right here and click test and as you can see I can execute this one execute this one so let's just uh, uh, you know go to our email and check if the email is already already been sent so yes yeah, you can see right here an email is already being sent to me so this is uh, the app sheet from the this is an email from app sheet and this is how i can get the report so yeah as you can see the uh, the bot is working so if you execute this execute this one so if the process and the task is executed as you can see they will uh, uh send me an, a report so this is how this is where this is the equipment report i you know input earlier and yes that's it that's how you can you know uh, create a report on uh, app sheet just use uh, you know bot and you know use uh, an email sending email task to your bot and yeah that's it that's how you can do it and also that's it for today's video if you want more please like this video subscribe to our channel and see you in the next one